When I go through this nether portal, we are going to explore the 1.16 beta update. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft showcase. I am so excited. I haven't watched any videos on any of the 1.16 stuff. I just cut off everything. So for me, this is exciting. If you look in the top uh, left, not where the coordinates are, but right to the right of that, you will see that we are in the 1.16.0.51 beta. Such a surprise. I've been on quarantine just chillaxing and I, I decided to pop in and I just saw that my game updated. So let's take a look. All right, so what do we got? I, I This is a brand new world, experimental gameplay on. And I do not know the names of all of this stuff, so forgive me. Okay, we got blue fire. That's really cool. What is this? It's just soul soil. Interesting. Uh, what are these? These are just regular guys. I heard that there was like an update. This guy looks different. What's he? What is he? Piglin. Okay. And we still have zombie. No, okay, so now they're called zombified piglins. Oh, they got little ear flaps. I like that. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we got soul sand, we got the soul soil. Let's look around, because I know that there's supposed to be like biomes and stuff. All right, so we got this over here. This is new. What is this? Basalt, 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 basalt. I don't know how to say that. I've never known how to say that word. Uh, so we got basalt or basalt. Right off of it. This might be a new biome. I think so. And then what is this? No, this right here. Crimson roots. Interesting. I wonder if you can I wonder if you can harvest it. I should probably put myself in survival in a little bit. A lot of uh a lot of skeletons. Enderman in here, okay. Oh, oh look, there's blue. There's blue, blue, blue. What is this? Is this a tree? Warped warp block. Okay, so instead of leaves, I think we have these. And these are the trees. Warped stems. Oh, are these like are these like mushrooms? Got it. These are like, I thought they were like trees. They're like mushrooms. So you got the stem of the mushroom and then this. This. Oh, that's cool. What is this? What the? Is this a new light block? The shroom light. Oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. And here we go. So we got a whole biome of this stuff right now. Now I am going to put in the description just the entire beta update. So you guys don't have to look for it. I'll put everything there for you. Warped fungus. Oh, so cool. I love it. Really, really neat. Okay, so we got a warped fungus. Okay, so apparently what we were in uh, before was called the warped forest. And now, I'm assuming this is the crimson forest because it looks red, obviously, like crimson. And what are these magnificent creatures? Are they like warthogs? What are they? Hoglands. Okay, so they're hoglins. That's cool. Did they give us meat? You know, we'll play around with that afterwards. Uh, and then I guess we got more kind of mushroom-looking trees here. So yeah, so crimson stem, nether wart block. Oh, cool. So the nether wart block goes right on top of that. Okay, I'm digging that. And then what kind of ground is this? Crimson nylium. Ooh, that's a that's a fun name to say. Crimson nylium. Oh, and we got red vines. Weeping vines. Now, I can't place them on this, which is interesting. But, you, oh, you, okay. So, you don't, I don't, you don't place them on things. You place them under. Got it. So, you don't place them like that. You'd actually place them underneath. And they, they, they just go anywhere? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm digging this so far. I would love to see some more biomes. I don't know how many there are. But we're going to keep going around and looking into it. Okay, actually, I looked at the, the full list going all the way down for the biomes. And it appar apparently where we started was Soul Sand Valley. Because it just says an open space mostly of soul sand and soul soil. So we actually already saw that. So those are the uh, three biomes that are that are kind of added, which is uh, pretty awesome. I'm, I'm digging that a lot. So now let's just kind of play around with some of the... Some of the stuff. So we got the piglins. 
Okay, so they can have crossbows. They can have golden swords. It looks like that's how they come. Wow, they are fast. Are they aggressive? Let's see. We can actually look into it. Yeah, they are aggressive. And they love gold, apparently, which is cool. So zombified piglins are just zombie pigmen that are now, uh, they have some floppy ears and they, they, they've they changed quite a bit. Their eye looks different. I like it. Uh, is that new with the shorts? I don't even remember. Okay. Uh, let's see what the base all does. So actually, let's see. Do we have a new netherite boots? So there's netherite equipment now. Okay, let's, let's just take a look at that. So we got some netherite equipment, which is awesome. And I'm actually just going to go through really quick and pick some of the stuff out, and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, now this is a target block. Let me just get rid of this for a second. Now, the only way I can imagine this working, um, I just saw it in the, in, the, in the items here, is that different sections will do different redstone. That's the only way I can imagine this or even wanting this to work. So I just set up a little experiment. Uh, let's see if this is true. I have no clue. So let's try top part first out here oh, so I have to actually hit it I didn't even see where it was let's say let's try that again shall we okay so it looks like it got to about here or here one of these two let's just put I don't know, let's just put it there okay and let's try the next inner one did I hit a bullseye okay so this inner circle this inner one gives you full. Oh, wait, that one wasn't full. Hold on. Let's, see, let's try it right there. So that goes to here, actually. Okay, what about the outer one? Let's try it right up there, maybe. Okay, so it does. It does give you, and then a bullseye would be uh, full strength. So, okay, that's cool. That is really, really cool. It does work the way I wanted it to work. As a redstoner, that is extremely useful. So, uh, as you can see, I'm fully covered. I, my son played around with my my character, so I'm just uh, Alex for some reason. But uh, we do have uh, some stuff here. So naturally, we can make these uh, warped planks from those warped blocks that we saw earlier. Uh, we can make crimson planks from uh, the crimson blocks that we saw earlier. Uh, then you got basalt, which we saw before, which comes in different versions. So you got polished. Uh, which is kind of cool building block. It's kind of a, a different a different technique, right? Or different look to it. It's kind of cool. Then you got the crimson fungus, which I guess can only be placed on that red uh, red ground, which is crimson nylium. Right? So I imagine that's, let's see, right there. And then crimson fungus. Yeah, it can only be... What about this? Can this be placed on it? Warped. Okay. So basically the nether dirt. Right, like these are like the dirt. You can place the warped fungus and the crimson fungus. Kind of cool. Uh, you can also make new lanterns. We got the uh, soul fire lantern, which looks badass. Then we got signs, the blue signs, which is cool. Uh, I don't know. Do, do we have red signs? I didn't even look. There might be the red ones too. Yeah. So you have uh, you have crimson signs as well. Which just, to me, just looks like netherrack, to be honest with you. Same with this. Just looks like a netherrack version. Uh, and now we got the netherite sword, uh, which I guess you get from, where's the netherite? Here we go. So this, this is a block of netherite. Although this, to me, looks like iron, which means, let me just check. Is there Are there nuggets or something? Yeah, so the netherite scrap and netherite ingots. So I'm assuming the scraps right here are are just like, um, oh, what is that light source here? It's like these, the shards and the crystals. I'm assuming, I, I haven't fully read all the, the notes because I wanted to kind of experience this with you guys. You can obviously correct me in the, in the comments. I'm sure you guys will. Um, so we got netherite scraps and I guess you can turn those into ingots or smelt them into ingots and then I guess craft the netherite the block of netherite and I guess you can also use it to make the netherite armor and stuff like that 
And it has knockback resistance, which is awesome. So wearing it, you're probably not even going to really get hit uh, too much. I also noticed that they brought back the Curse of, uh, what is it? The Curse of Binding. What is it? Um, the books. I noticed that. I haven't seen those in a while. Maybe I just missed them, but I could have sworn that those are new again. Let's see. Yeah, the Curse of Vanishing and the Curse of Binding. So those are those are back, uh, which is really interesting. And uh, I'm, I'm so digging this. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to go into the overworld now so I can go over some of the other stuff. I'll actually read the notes now and go through some of the important ones. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot. I'm not going to go through every single solitary one. So I'm going to go through the ones that I really like. But just read the description. It will have every single update uh, as long as I can fit it. Sometimes the updates are so big uh, they can't. But if not, I'll also leave a link um, I'll leave a link to where you can just look at it very easily if I can't fit all of it, okay? All right, guys, we are in the overworld. Uh, really quick, before I get started with this, I found an outpost. Do you see it? I just came right out here, right? Right out through the thing. And then look over there. It's pretty cool. So I am going to leave the uh, the seed here as well. because, And you can look in the top left for the position. This is not the spawn point, obviously, because I went all around the nether. But you can look in the... In the uh, the coordinates in the top left note them and maybe you want to kind of build a world here i don't know okay anyway uh so the the new soul soil if you light it that's how you get the blue flame okay if you take bone meal and you use it on the warped nylium or next to the warped nylium and you use bone meal on the netherrack it actually spreads it same with this okay same with the crimson nylium you can actually spread that onto the uh, the netherrack and then also you can treat it just like you would treat grass and that's how you get the the, uh, the plants which are the crimson roots and the warped roots this is how you make the target block one hay bale and four pieces of redstone kind of expensive i mean four redstone for one block but it has a lot of uses to it so it's kind of cool but that is how you make that Okay, so regarding piglins, it says piglins are an aggressive civilization that mostly hang around in the Crimson Forest, but you might find them in other parts too. They think of the player as target practice and will attack on sight. However, if you dress appropriately, so I'm assuming if you dress in this, because this is the only, only thing that's added, is the netherite. So I'm assuming if you're a netherite, they won't attack you. All right, guys, some, some parity, which is fantastic to have in the Bedrock Edition. Pufferfish now have a middle inflation status. The Ender Dragon Fireball no longer causes excessive damage. All mobs will no longer drown in lava, including the player. Passive mobs now only spawn on blocks they're supposed to. Pumpkins can be placed without needing support underneath, which is fantastic. Also, fence gates as well, so those can now be placed without needing something underneath. So we can just demonstrate that really, really quickly. In the past, you would have needed to have something under it, like that, right? But now, you can actually go like this, and same thing. See? So you can post that, there's nothing underneath it to support it. So that's really cool. Podzol is going to be created under spruce trees uh, when you create mega pine trees, which is great. So two All ones right. that, that caught my eye were Drown can no longer drop tridents if they were not holding a trident. You can kind of exploit that beforehand. And now blocks will lose their waterlogged state when pushed by a piston. I saw a lot of machines that were using these waterlogged to just kind of create these large, uh, vast, I don't know, like oceans or rivers or whatever. Yeah, you can't do that anymore. So the despawn rules have now been changed to match Java's or closely match Java's, I should say. Which is great because now it allows more mobs to spawn around the player. Because there's uh, the mobs are just going to start despawning. Whereas in the past... You guys know on Bedrock, once one, once a mob spawned, that was pretty much it. It just stayed there. So now they're going to actually uh, despawn more, which is going to give us more of a chance to, one, create mob farms, but two, also fight more mobs in, in Bedrock. It's like one of the things, it's like you could walk around for a while, and if you had a mob that was hidden somewhere, that was stuck, that you weren't seeing and, you, and it wasn't despawning, it was taking up some of the cap. Uh, players can more reliably raise their popularity within a village, so by trading with villagers, it now incre correctly increases the popularity. Curing a zombie villager now grants additional popularity, and popularity will become more neutral over time, so you basically have to keep interacting with them. Uh, they increase the golem spawn rate and modified spawn rule, so basically 75% of the villagers must have worked in the past day, and there has to be a minimum of 20 beds 
and every villager has to have a bed. But only one golem will spawn for every 10 villagers. You can get trident enchantments through trading with villagers, which is cool. And villagers will no longer become preoccupied with sharing carrots. They seem to like only focus on that. So that's gone, which is good. And I think that's going to be it that I'm going to show you guys. I really want you to just read it, play around with it. If you're in this version, if you're not, if you're obviously, if you're not in the beta, you have to wait a little longer, but uh, just play around with the stuff. It's, you know, stop watching so many people and, and, and play around with it. I'm going to be doing tutorials and stuff on specific things, but in terms of the beta, just go through it. There's a lot there. There is so many changes mobs behaviors user interfaces there's so many things uh so everything is going to be in the description like i said if i can't list everything i will leave the link for you if i can list everything it'll just be there all right that's going to do for me until next time captain obvious out peace